really good. It's not good. We got it. Really good. Out. Like, really good. Okay, okay. You can really relax. I really just want to hear your thoughts. <laughs> it's a gotcha it. moment. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. So, again, throw the Bible out, but we're trusting the ethics and teachings of Christianity because of the character of these figures. But if you just said, we could throw the Bible out and that it's about the historical ver variability and the, the Bible is flawed, why are we believing in every single thing the Bible is saying and every single teaching it has if you yourself just said that, like, we there can't are, fully trust it? There are endless amounts of things in the Old Testament that are descriptive and not prescriptive in the New Testament because they are not repeated. So it's not talking about actually, so you, I'm talking about, you're talking about ethics. Yes. And the ethics of the Bible. Yes. And, and this is why you don't believe. Because you don't like the ethic of no premarital sex. That's why you don't believe. I promise you're a handsome guy. I can tell by your personality. The main reason you don't believe is because you want to sleep around just like the majority of professors that I know who are honest about it. Let him so come. you're honest with yourself, I promise the more unbiased you will come to interpreting the Bible. Great question, Sam. Love it. Absolutely. Let him cook. Cliff Jr. was cooking some potato salad with raisins in it. That's what Cliff Jr. was cooking. All right, so first and foremost, he tried to uh, obfuscate and not talk about the actual subject matter, but I'm glad the young man brought it back to him. So, what is he talking about? He's saying that a lot of the things in the Bible are prescriptive and not descriptive, uh, or descriptive and not prescriptive because they weren't repeated in the New Testament. But if you're going to throw out the Old Testament because it doesn't sit, repeat itself in the New Testament, then there's a whole bunch of things that you can throw out. But does it not also talk about the Old Testament? In one fell swoop, it does. When Jesus said that the greatest commandment <clears throat> is to love God and keep his commandments. Well, to keep the commandments means to keep the commandments of the Old Testament. When he asked the rich young ruler, have you kept all the commandments? And then told him to go sell all his things and give it to the poor. The rich young ruler went away because he didn't want to give up his stuff. But one of the things that he wanted him to do was to keep all the commandments. And then just go a little bit farther. So keeping the commandments was something that was verified in the New Testament to be done in the that people are still still supposed to do. He said he came not to take away from the law and not one tittle shall be taken away from it. So you are still supposed to keep the high holy days. You are still supposed to keep the rules, the commandments, the laws of the Old Testament. Yet, Christians don't like to do that because our culture today doesn't allow for animal sacrifice. Our culture today does not allow for men to be able to sell their daughters off. Our culture today doesn't fit what the Old Testament is saying that you're supposed to do and doesn't fit what the first century Christians who are still practicing Judaism are supposed to do. So he tried to get away from that one. By, get away from the man's question by saying that. But the true thing here is about the ethics. And this is where most Christians fail. Because they think that people don't want to follow the Bible so that they can go and do all these things that Christians think are wrong. But what are some of these ethics? That they're always trying to say that people want to go out and they want to murder, they want to rape, they want to have premarital sex, they want to do this, they want to do that. But what are the ethics of the Bible? What are the ethics of the New Testament? And let's just focus on the ethics of the New Testament. The ethics of the New Testament still says that a woman is the property of her husband or the property of her father. The ethics of the New Testament tell women that they should shut the hell up in church and not speak a word and not usurp the authority of a man. So it's still patriarchal. That's the ethics. What are the ethics of the New Testament? Slaves, obey your masters as you would in Jesus. So the ethics of the New Testament is still that you are allowed to have slaves. Yet. People who are not Christian are not running around try, trying to say we need to have slaves. No, it's actually completely the opposite. And yes, there were Christians who were abolitionists. There were many Christians who were abolitionists who were against slavery. But the ethics of the Bible says that it is OK to have slaves, whether we're talking about the Old Testament or the New Testament, because both indicate the exact same thing. So what are these ethics? Paul told you that you should remain unmarried. And only focus on being with God. But if you cannot control your desire for sex, then you should marry instead of burning with the lust of sex. So the ethics of the Bible is that if you can be celibate, then be celibate. And that is the better choice for you. That's the ethics of the Bible. That's the ethics of the New Testament. 
And since you are supposed to be keeping the Old Testament as well, there is so many things in the Old Testament that the ethics are horrible with the genocide and the taking the, the essaying of women and the treatment of children. But just focusing on that New Testament, the ethics of that New Testament are just as disagreeable as the ethics of the Old Testament. So I think little Stuart Jr. that you missed the mark. And there's a reason why you go and talk to college kids all the time. Because in every interview that I have seen where you are talking to an adult, you can get your hat handed to you. Especially when you're talking to that guy, Ra something. You get your hat handed to you every time. But hey, what do you guys think? And always remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.